So after running the so after running the analysis, we can derive these results. So for each cell course, we can determine the hoop stress, the von Mises stress, and the Tresca stress. As we can see, the shell courses from two to five, which which has these thicknesses, were found to be safe. However, for the bottom shell, which is the shell course number one, we observed that the hoop allowable hoop stress, allowable von Mises stress, and allowable Tresca stress uh, exceed or was exceeded or were exceeded. Thus, a remark of increased thickness is recommended. We can show you the locations of this loca uh, of these exceeded stresses on the Midas model. So we can see that the advantages of finite element modeling is that we can easily identify where this maximum stresses occurs under hoop stress. So to determine, uh, so for example, under these load cases, we can select a different load case. So we can select, or we can also select uh, the envelope load case. So we will use the stress option under local to select the sigma xx. So sigma xx corresponds to the hoop stress on the sprint element. If you want to see the maximum von Mises or maximum Tresca stress will be using the UCS, then the current UCS will be using sigma effective for the maximum von Mises stress or maximum shear or the Tresca stress. Then we will click apply to display the results of this. So also, uh, we will show you or demonstrate you the, to show you the soil pressure of the adno base pressure. So for the soil pressure, uh, first we will be selecting the bottom plate. So under say under dead load and live load, dead load and fluid load, we'll be selecting first the bottom plate to show you the stresses at the bottom plate. So first we select it and activate the bottom plate. So while we're waiting for the activation of the bottom plate, uh, we will be observing the results of this under different loading combinations. So we'll be selecting the option for PX, PY, and PZ. So after clicking apply, we will be, as you can see in the image, uh, the soil bearing pressure is displayed. So as we can see, since we assume a very high value of subgrade reaction, we see the concentration on specific locations only. So, if in case we're dealing with uh, uh, that the bottom plate is already placed on the subway models, we can easily observe the differences in this contour. So, assuming that the this is already con or that the base of the tank is concrete, we will be needing to design this under the ultimate strength design. So say for example, we forget to put the load cases for the, for the uh, ultimate strength design. So one advantage of Midas is that we can add additional loading combination without running the program. That saves us a lot of time. Say clicking under load combination, click the concrete design, we can say add a new load case, say dead load plus live load so we add the load cases under including the self weight plus say the roof live load for sample purposes only then we change the load factor from 1.4 and 1.7 so for presentation purposes we'll be adding this then we'll be clicking close so as we can see, we can already select this load case and analyze the structure without rerunning the softwares. So another orientation of or another advantage of using Midas is that it can create or change the plate load orientation. So if in circular tanks, this is very useful since we can have an option if we want to put the reinforcement 
uh, along the orthogonal axis of the tank or along the circumferential and the radial axis of the tank. So we can demonstrate you in this figure. So we close this first. So first we will be displaying the local axis of each plate. So we'll go to display element local axis. So as you can observe that the local axis of each plate are currently not aligned with each other. So if we want to say lay out the rebars and get the moment about x and about y on the orthogonal direction, we can rotate the local element axis of each plate. So first, we'll be selecting all the plates. We'll be going to the results plate local axis. Then we'll select the element type to be plate. Then select the local x aligned with the global positive x direction, which is plus x. So we'll then click apply. So as we can see, if we zoom in, we will observe that all the local x axis and the y axis are aligned with the global axis. Now, if we decided to place the reinforcement of this concrete slab along the circumferential or the radial axis of the tank, we can click, say, again the plate, then select the local x axis to be aligned along the radial axis, which is plus r. So, so we will be selecting the origin point, which is the center of the bottom slab then click apply so as we can see when we zoom in now all the local x axis is along the radial axis of the circular tank and the y axis is along the circumferential of the tank so we can decide whether we can also use the reference vector if we opt to use a certain uh, axis along the lo local axis of each plate so for the conclusion the main focus of the presentation is to show how Midas Gen improve our finite element modeling or the FEM procedure. Note that FEM serves as a tool to, be, to better understand the structure and API provides preliminary design of the structure. So through the FEM, additional verifications can be done to provide better design solutions. Midas has a number of advantages over other software that can make our analysis more efficient as shown in this presentation. So thank you for listening and have a good day.